In this problem, we're told what is the average translational kinetic energy of an oxygen molecule at STP, and then B is what is the total translational kinetic energy of one mole of O2 molecules at 25 degrees Celsius. So in this problem, we're going to be solving for two things. In the first part, we're going to be solving for the average um, translational kinetic energy, so we call that K average, and you need to know the formula is 1.5 or 3 over 2 times K times T. And so keep in mind K is Boltzmann's constant, which is this number right here, and T is just temperature. And then the total translational kinetic energy, which we solve for in the second part, is the number of uh, molecules multiplied by this number right here. So just the average uh, translational kinetic energy. So let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, we're trying to find the average translational kinetic energy. So K average, you might be using this formula. So we're going to do 3 over 2. And then it's going to be an oxygen molecule at STP. So keep in mind what STP stands for. It's standard temperature and pressure. So standard temperature, since we need the T, is 273. You can use 273.15. I'm just going to use the more rounded value, though. So 3 over 2 times K, which is 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. And then you multiply by T. So as I said, standard temperature, so 273. And make sure you do this in Kelvin when you solve it. So 1.5 or 3 over 2 times 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 times 273. You're going to get 5.65 times 10 to the minus 21. And so keep in mind we let we measure uh, this in joules. It's uh, kinetic energy. So uh, 5.65 times 10 to the minus 21 joules. That's your answer to A. So let's go ahead and do B now. So for B, we're going to be solving for the total translational kinetic energy. And keep in mind this is going to be one mole of O2 molecules at 25 degrees Celsius. So the formula for this one is going to be the number of uh, molecules multiplied by k average so let's find the number of molecules first and the formula for that is right here so the number of molecules is equal to the number of moles which were given and then multiplied by na which is basically avogadro's number which is this right here so solving for n the number of molecules you do 6.02 times 10 to the 23 times the number of moles which in this case is just one so really the number of molecules is just avogadro's number so 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules so now we have n, and now we need to calculate k average. So let's just say b is going to be equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So the formula for k average is right here. So it's 3 over 2 times k, which is this number right here, times 10 to the minus 23. And then you might I'm multiplying. And yeah, so uh, the temperature in this case, since we have t, is going to be 25 degrees Celsius, but it needs to be in Kelvin. So you're just going to add 25 to 273. So you're going to get 298. But yeah, so if you go ahead and plug this in your calculator, uh, you're going to find that it equals about uh, 3,700 joules. So uh, yeah, about 3,700 joules, that's just the rounded answer. But yeah, so this is going to be your answer to B, this is your answer to A, and yeah, hopefully you found this useful.